my beautiful friends and welcome to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations and I'm Nova and today is Saturday and it is also Best Friends Day. So welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my cozy little corner of YouTube and if you are here you are one of my best friends. You are one of my gnomies and so I am super happy to spend a little bit of Best Friends Day with you guys. So today I am doing a little something different. This is a tag. So if you guys have never watched a tag before, just like a general concept of what they are is it's a list of questions that the person will answer and then they will potentially tag some other YouTubers or even you guys to answer the questions if you want to. This one is a little bit different than your average tag though. Normally the tags are like about yarn questions or specific things but they're also kind of broad this one is actually one where you answer it about somebody else so um this is a best friends tag it is the fiber friends favorites tag and basically the gist is that I am going to answer questions about Shannon, the Spoonie Stitcher. I will link her in the description box below, by the way, if you would like to go check her out and watch her video, uh, counterpart to this one. Uh, and then at the end of the video, I will also answer the questions, what I would have said my answers were, um, kind of as a little check to see, you know, if the person got them right. So then she's also going to put out a video answering these questions about me and then saying what her answers would have been. Um, I'm also going to challenge you guys anyone who's watching this if you would like to participate um to participate in this tag so the hashtag for this tag is going to be fiber friends favorites uh, fiber friend favorites 2024 i will put that in the description box as well so if you do participate make sure you hashtag that so that we can find them easily um, so June 8th is Best Friends Day and Shannon messaged me saying, hey, wouldn't it be fun to do something like on Best Friends Day that was kind of celebrating being yarny, yarny best friends, okay? So she came up with this Fiber Friends Favorites tag. Um, she came up with these questions as well. She said it's like the newlyweds game. I had never heard of newlyweds game, um, but basically it's like that, except for that it is for FFF, which is Fiber Friends Forever. So if you guys would like to participate, I am open tagging any of you guys who would like to do it. Um, like I said, this is probably one that's more for people who have a channel. Uh, typically when I do tags, I'm like, hey, if you guys want to answer them in the comments, go for it. But since you're answering these about somebody else, um, it's probably not one that you can really answer in the comments. But feel free to, um, if you are friends with other people in the community, if you wanted to try guessing what their answers would be or something, go for it. You could do that in the comments. And obviously, if you have your own YouTube channel, I would love to see you guys do this. Um, I do have a few people in mind that I will tag. Um, I'm not sure if I'll tag you at the end or if I'll just chat tag you in the description box, but I am going to tag a few people. No pressure if you guys don't want to do it, but if you do feel like doing it and you think it's fun, you are somebody, if I tag you, you are somebody that I think might think this is fun and also I have someone in mind that you might do it with um do the tag with that's like a kind of a yarny bestie that I see of yours so that's the reason I'm choosing you um and I think I will probably just tag in the description box okay so this is gonna have 10 questions and I'm going to first go through and answer what I think the answers are for Shannon. Um, I did scribble down some notes of what the questions were and like a gist of what her answers might be, what I think they might be. Um, and I didn't even think about what they would be for myself. So that's probably, uh, hopefully I know the answers for myself. <laughs> okay, so the first one is what are your favorite colors or what are their favorite colors? This one I am fairly certain of, uh, turquoise and pink and then also just sparkly in general um the second one is favorite drinks so this one i'm gonna say tea but she can't have caffeine teas and she's allergic to a lot of stuff so like she has to be careful of like what's in them like she can't have milk powders and things like that um but she likes warm types of teas like with like cinnamon and nutmeg you know like the warming spices which uh, i love warming spices 
was literally just talking about this the other day how I'm like basic because I love pumpkin spice but like I love not just pumpkin spice I love everything that is like warm spices like clove and cinnamon and nutmeg and all that love them love them and everything um and then I also wrote down chai peach vanilla and caramel as other teas that she might like um favorite animal so I actually wrote down two for this one um a fox and then also a corgi which is being super specific but if you know Shannon you know she also loves corgis and I couldn't leave that one out so fox and corgi um, favorite holiday. This one I actually have never asked her, but I am just going to take a stab and guess Christmas. Um, I know that she loves Christmas a lot, and so I'm just going to assume it's Christmas. I could totally be wrong though, who knows? Um, favorite comfort TV or movie? Um, so I had like quite a few guesses for this. I put Monsters Inc. Sleeping Beauty and Beauty and the Beast as my stabs at it. Um, for favorite fandoms, this was one that also, there's like so many things it could be. So for the first one, I'm just gonna like put a broad overarching category of Broadway because she loves everything to do with like Broadway stuff and um, I don't know, like that type of niche. And then the second thing I put is Harry Potter because that is like a mutual fandom that we both love. Um, and she is also a fellow Ravenclaw like I am. But I know she also loves Disney stuff. Um, she likes Tsum Tsums, like a lot of stuff like that. So for favorite fandoms, I feel like there's so many that it could be. Um, and I also feel like when I get to that question for me, there's so many it could be like, it's hard to say. Um, favorite yarn way, I am pretty certain that I can say with 100% confidence it's worsted. And favorite yarn fiber, I am pretty sure with like 100% confidence that it is acrylic. Um, secondarily, I think would be cotton, but I know that she's allergic to like wool and alpaca and llama and stuff like that. Um, and also the type of projects she makes are acrylic yarn type of projects. So yeah. Um, favorite size hook. I think this one is like a little bit difficult. Um, I would say like a 3.5 to a 4.5. So 3.5, a 4, or a 4.5, somewhere in there. She likes to make amigurumi uh, with worsted weight yarn. So I would say it's somewhere in there. If I'm going to try to be safe and play it on the middle line, I'm going to say a 4 millimeter, um, but like somewhere in there. Um, favorite thing to make. This one is super easy. She loves to make her tots. So um, if you guys have been on Shannon's channel or on her Instagram, you'll see this thing that she really likes to make, which is tots. Actually, if you've been around on my channel for a while, you'll have also seen them. Uh, there was one or a few of them in Community Spotlight last week. And then also I have made a tot. I made a Jack Skellington tot. Um, but they're like basically little things that are shaped like tater tots that she likes to customize into like characters and fandom type things um, you know characters from different things that she likes and she really really enjoys doing that okay so that was all 10 questions and then there was a bonus question which was how did you meet uh, we actually met well we met here on YouTube but then migrated it over to Instagram so she was watching my videos commenting on them and then she was also messaging me on Instagram. I'm really bad about answering messages on Instagram, by the way, just so you guys know. Um, and then I connected the dots between the two of like her being her on Instagram and her being her on YouTube because she actually didn't have the same name on those. And this was back before she ever had a channel or anything. She was like a lot more on the DL, on the down low at, about like her name and things like that. Um, she like went by her, you know, alias and all that type of stuff. Um, and we just chatted that way and we became friends that way. So just chatting on uh, Instagram. Uh, we also now, we also email and have mailed each other too. Um, and of course, we are still both on YouTube uh, and we comment on each other's videos sometimes. <laughs> so that is the Fiber Friends Faves tag. How did I do? Hopefully okay. I've been actually a little nervous about this just because I'm like, what if I get everything wrong? But I'm pretty certain on most of them. I feel like I've got a pretty good handle on it.
Okay, so now to try to take a stab at my own answers, which I change my mind about things so much. I like so many things that I feel like this will actually be hard to answer about myself. Um, but fave colors is, okay, so I really, okay, if I have to pick one favorite color, I pick purple. I, uh, if I have to pick one, I always pick purple, but I like quite a lot of colors. My favorite colors are like galaxy colors, which is like purple and blue and pink, um, kind of swirling together, that kind of vibe, like a galaxy, um, kind of vibe. And then also I really like, um, like aqua or mint or tur turquoise. I like those like really pretty blues. Like I love like this kind of blue. Um, yeah. And then I also just love like pairing together that kind of blue with pink, um, or like a pastel pink, blue and purple. Love that. I, I have like a favorite co color combinations more so than I have like just a straight up favorite color typically. Um, and then I also love things with like special interests. So like iridescent or sparkly or holographic, things like that. I really love like flashy like pop type of stuff um favorite drink this one is really really broad for me and I am so curious what she's gonna pick Shannon when you watch this video don't feel bad about whatever you pick because I feel like there's no way you could get it right because I like that just depends on the day so I am like big into drinks like beverage I'm a beverage girly <laughs> so I love energy drinks for one let's just start with like you know the uh divisive divisive one I know that a lot of people do not like energy drinks at all and they think they're like the worst thing in the world I actually love energy drinks um I prefer I like blue monster um I actually have been getting these Aldi like summit energy drinks that are like a dollar and they taste a lot like a mix between like a blue monster and the purple venom the purple venom is also one of the ones I really like but I'll be honest I like like every energy drink that tastes like an energy drink um the energy drinks I don't like are actually probably easy easier to say which is I don't like like bang energy drinks I don't like any of those like really sweet energy drinks like bang to me doesn't taste like an energy drink I like that like chemically energy drink flavor I like it to like have like I always say like I like it to be stabbing me in the throat I like that harsh energy drink man I really would love an energy drink right now anyway um I also though I've just been really wanting an energy drink for like the last week. So that's probably the reason that came to my head first. The thing I drink the most of favorite wise would be coffee. Um, I love iced coffee. Um, I do also like hot coffee. Um, I like flavored coffees and flavored creamers. Um, I like to just make fun, fun drinks. Um, my latest favorite thing has been lavender, like a lavender um, cold brew with like a lavender cold foam. I love lavender, like in general, like lavender lemonade, lavender tea, lavender coffee, like put lavender in anything. Um, but I am a big like iced coffee coffee person. I like cold brew specifically um, and lattes. Like I love, um, like I said, I like hot drinks and cold drinks, but typically I lean towards cold drinks, um, like an iced latte or a cold brew. Top tier. Um, I really like espresso. So um, that cold brew is like my compromise. It's the closest coffee to espresso. Um, and then I also do like tea a lot. I like warm spices as well. Um, but I'll be honest, I am like down to try any tea. Um, obviously I'm going to have my favorites. Um, I really like, like to give like a little broad variety. I like the passion tea from Tazo. Also the lemon, lemon cake. Oh man, I can't remember what it's called at all. I think it's also Tazo. Um, I love a good um, Earl Grey, like a really good Earl Grey, like a nice strong Earl Grey. Um, hmm, I love chai. I love chai, especially like a chai tea latte. Um, yeah, so I think that's probably, oh, and then as far as like a typical beverage, my go-to drink is carbonated water. I really like like bubbly or AHA or LaCroix or um, can't think of any more off top of my head, but like basically any carbonated water, um, like a flavored carbonated water, but not the ones that are 
sweet flavored. I like the the ones that people people say that it's like you're thinking of a fruit and drinking water, um, or you smelled fruit and you drank water. That joke, you know, that it's like this doesn't actually taste like fruit. That's the kind of carbonated water I like. Um, I love carbonation. I love that like harshness of it, um, and that's like my typical drink, like what I drink normally. Um, favorite animal. Wow, I'm going through these because I, I, I'm so mad about picking my favorite things, guys. I'm going through them so slow for myself because I didn't think of it ahead of time and write it down. Um, favorite animals. Okay, so for like pets, I love like cats and dogs and everything. Honestly, I'm like an equal opportunity pet lover or animal lover. I love animals. As far as like more exotic animals go, I love elephants. I love elephants a lot. I think they are so beautiful and so um, just amazing creatures. Um, I also like owls. Um, I love axolotls. I'm like obsessed with axolotls. Um, and I'll keep it kind of short and sweet and I'll leave it at that. You guys don't need like my life story for everything. Favorite holiday for me is Christmas. Um, and then probably second favorite holiday would be Halloween, just because I think they're fun. I like to do stuff, do makeup looks, like make things. Like there's just a lot of fun stuff to make and do for those holidays. Um, favorite comfort TV or movie? This really depends. Like it changes so frequently. I actually hate this question. Um, I don't like picking favorites of things. And this question, it depends so heavily on what I'm into at the moment. Um, at different points in time, it has been different shows. It just really depends on what I've been watching. So what I'll do is I'll go through periods of re-watching something just to have it on. Um, but like eventually it changes to something else. This is just water, by the way. I like to reuse my Panera cups. I'm part of like the sip club and so we can get drinks for from it. Um, if you guys know what that is, I'm not gonna like advertise it, but I like to refill my cups and so that's what this is, just in case you wondered. Um, I'm trying to think what my current favorite is. I also don't watch a lot of TV um, on like a regular basis. Um, I'm more, I spend most of my time if I'm watching things, watching YouTube. Um, so I haven't really had like a comfort TV. Oh, you know what I could easily say for this would be Pokemon. Pokemon is always gonna be a comfort show for me or comfort movies, any of them, especially the older ones. Um, those are always gonna be a comfort for me. Um, some different shows that I've watched in just in general to try to be fair to Shannon, which I have a feeling she'll probably say Schitt's Creek. Schitt's Creek is probably one of my most recent, if not my most recent TV show, like comfort TV show. Um, I haven't really been watching it at all lately, but I did go through a period of like, like watching it a lot. Um, I have a tendency to like hone in on a TV show and then I will just put that on every time and watch it and like rewatch it over and over. Um, Friends, I have rewatched Friends so much. I love Friends, like love, love, love Friends. Um, that's probably like one of the biggest ones. Um, How I Met Your Mother, um, The Big Bang Theory, Charmed. Charmed is like one of my OG, like from my childhood. I Charmed is always like a good comfort show to me. Um, but yeah, I do have a tendency to like rewatch things. So I'm going to leave it at that. It just depends. Um, favorite fandoms. I have a lot of favorite fandoms. This is also something that um, my favorite fandoms don't go away, but certain ones will take the spotlight for a while and then kind of rotate around. Um, Harry Potter is always going to be a favorite fandom of mine. Um, Pokemon is always going to be a favorite fandom of mine. I also love, like, just to spew a couple out, Doctor Who, um, the Dragon Age video game series, um, Destiny 2, specifically Destiny 2, but just Destiny in general, um, Skyrim, um, Dragon Quest Builders. I have so many, you guys, like, I could just go on, but, uh, for books, um, Harry Potter, obviously, um, the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Like I said, these, I'm supposed to be picking like one or maybe a couple, not like a million. And I'm really bad about that. So I'll leave it at that. 
Um, favorite yarn weight, worsted weight. Favorite yarn fiber, acrylic. Um, I'm pretty open to most yarn fibers. Um, as far as I know, I don't seem to have any allergies, but I do typically work with acrylic and I'm most comfortable working with acrylic. Um, favorite size hook, probably a 3.5 or a 5. It depends on what I'm working on. 3.5 for amigurumi um, worsted weight. 5 for basically anything else. Um, or if I'm using a chunkier yarn and making amigurumi. Um, favorite thing to make, amigurumi. Um, and I think I'll just leave it broad like that, amigurumi, because that is by far my favorite thing to make. I love stuffed animals in general. They're like a huge, like special pet peeve, not pet peeve, special interest, favorite type of thing. I don't know. They've always been like very favorite to me. Very favorite. I'm not phrasing that properly, but you guys get what I'm saying. Um, I love plushies. Being able to make plushies has always been something like a dream of mine. Um, and I did attempt to sew plushies periodically for a little while. Um, and then eventually when I found crochet, it was like all the like tiles, all the puzzle pieces clicked into place and now I could make anything I want to uh, plushie wise. And that is just the, the coolest thing ever for me. Um, yeah, so that is the 10 questions. That's what my answer would be on them. Okay, so I think I did pretty decent. I think I took about the same amount of time to answer hers and to answer mine. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tag. Like I said, don't forget to tag it. Hashtag Fiber Friend Favorites 2024 if you do participate. Uh, check out the description box where I will tag Shannon. I'm also going to tag some people that I think might participate in this. There are a few people that I can think of that are pretty like yarny besties that might I actually have fun doing the uh, tag as well. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. I will see you guys again real soon. Let me know what you are up to this weekend down in the comments below. And I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.